Namaste. I am going to explain class B Pushpil amplifier. Practical amplifiers requires number of stages to uh, amplify the weak signals and finally uh, it uh, to drives the loudspeakers. Uh, here initially it requires the voltage amplification and uh, at the final stage we are connecting the power amplifiers. Power amplifiers are uh, categorized as class A, class B, class AB, class C, class D amplifiers. Here these are all uh, divided, uh, categorized as based on the input power as well as the output power. Here for given of input power 360 degree, what is the output power? Here for the class B amplifier, we get only the 180 degree. Uh, here to, to get the 360 degree, we use two transistors, uh, NPN as well as the PNP. Uh, here we have the voltage amplification stage initially. To conduct the experiment, we can follow the three steps. First stage, we are seeing that the biasing voltage VCE is equal to 6 volt just by connecting the values as well as the supply. So next, whether it is amplifying is by connecting the coupling capacitors. 0 0.47, 0 0.47 and the input is given as 1 volt peak to peak with 1 kilohertz. Here we can see the input is given is 1 kilohertz with the 1 volt peak to peak with 1 kilohertz. So next stage is the class B pushpil amplifier. Here to take the output we are connecting the DRB by varying the values of DRB we are calculating the powers. Also here the multimeter is connected to calculate the IDC value where it is connected positive is connected to the supply positive of the supply and the ammeter negative is connected to the junction of the 22 kilo 1 kilo and the SL100. Here we can see in the diagram before connecting the complementary symmetry that is NP and PNP we get the amplified stage that is the voltage amplification for a given of 1 volt peak to peak. And when we connect the SL100 and the SK100 that is NPN and PNP, here SL100 conducts for the positive half cycle, SK100 conducts for the negative half cycle. So based on this we get here the crossover distortion because SL100 conducts after plus 0.7, SK100 conducts minus 0.7. So from plus 0.7 to minus 0.7 transistor remains 0. So there is no output. Here we can see we can see the output. So this gives the crossover distortion. So I have given the DRB value of 100 and I have noted, noted down the values. For 100 ohm, IDC value around 6.29 and peak to peak we need to take. One point two point or two volt and calculate the input power using the equation VCC into IDC. VCC is 12, IDC value what we have taken from the multimeter and output power is calculated as V0 square peak to peak divided by 2 RL. V0 peak to peak is 2 and divided by 2 into RL. Here we are considering 2 because complement two transistors are used in the uh, class B pushpill amplifier that is NPN and PNP so here together it is 2 RL and to calculate the efficiency P0 power divided by PIDC into 100. So we know that uh, here the load resistor value or DRB can be varied from 100 to 1 kilo ohm. So within this we get the maximum efficiency and the minimum efficiency and theoretically the maximum efficiency is 78.5. 78.54. Also here we can remove the crossover distortion by using the diode. Here when we get the output here, uh, inverted output we get. According to that inverted for the positive half cycle this diode conducts. So this is connected as series. According to that the output we get that is crossover distortion is removed uh, by using the D1 and D2. So amplified output we get. Thank you.